can go over the cells, over the flakes, over the tubes, up the down, whatever. Go around the workbench with the tools or anything else you want, cells. Um, whatever. You want to get any of these on? Too. When I charge up the uh, water and everything else in first, and this will produce a gas I'll show you in a minute with a blow head off for a few bubbles. I'll lift this out if you want. The brown shoe on the um, outside is just what's coming out of the water, you know what I'm telling you? Mm, yeah. This one here doesn't have it, but this one here at the bottom says the spring is negative, totally square across. You have negative at the bottom, negative at the top, neutral in the center, I mean positive in the center, yeah. two neutrals, two neutrals. Uh -huh. Got that? Yeah. Gas, it only comes out here. Show you that on that one in a minute. Different configuration of plates. Negative, neutral, positive. Negative, underneath water. Gas comes out here, which we'll see in a minute. Glass bottle. Through the middle, uh, down to the bottom, has a negative. Plates are held in. Neutrals. Positive to that wire you can see connected. Brings a positive inside. Negative plugs up underneath. Positive clips to the outside one in there. And then we'll show an experiment with that in a minute. Want to go along? Stainless. Um, Fire extinguisher, negative in the top, neutral plating on the inside, okay, uh, choose negative travels down the centre right to the bottom, explain about that soon. Positive hooked up either here, here, or if you want the best gas, hook it up to the furthest point, around here, mm -hmm. or out there. You can release that and bring gas out the front, you leave it off, gas comes out here, Vacuum gauge or pressure gauge. Plug that onto there. Turn on this as a battery charger or you can plug it up to a battery. Turn it on, you can read what pressure you've got. Um, hook onto the front or here, uh, you're on the front, open that, put a pump on, put a car on, vacuum, and it shows your vacuum reading on the, the gauge as well. What vacuum you can pull there in. Um, this little cell here, it has um, neutral plates on the inside. No, char no positive charge to it whatsoever, no power. Negative through the bottom. This just bolts and separates it from there. This just goes into a car. And your car doesn't, have, doesn't put any charge, positive or anything else to the outside of that. Negative connected to the body and that's all there is as anything going through it, as a field, hook on a, um, a there. This goes into there, that screws onto there, that goes through the firewall, that's aluminium, you can use copper, but if you use copper you've got to put a, a positive wire from the car to the furthest point to get the gas out, what we want, and it's not hydrogen or oxygen. Um, take it to the outside. On aluminium, aluminium doesn't need a charge putting onto it. It stores it in the metal, brings it out to the um, India motor, 
You've got to have a separate piece of rubber on the end here to stop because this here is positive, even though it's not connected, but the gas inside, the water inside and everything else is positive. So this is a positive, positive connection. You can't connect it to the motor. You've got to put a piece of rubber in or else you get a dead short and sell done gun. You've got to pull all the parts, wash it all out, recharge water up, put it back in, restart. And it gives you a problem doing it. So that's how that works. And recording. This um, bottle here has neutral plates in it. It doesn't have any um, caustic or salts or anything else in it. It's plain water straight out of a creek off a hill. It has a neutral plates. It has positive outside, negative underneath, as we see. I now turn on a battery charger, and you'll see. Hallelujah. Now look down the side. Work your way over the side. You'll see the, that's hydrogen going downwards. It won't break the surface. You see this vapor coming off the top. That's possibly what's running the car. Goes down, fills up, it's plain water, doesn't brown, doesn't dirty, always got this vapor. Down below here, if you look carefully, if you can pick it up, something is being drawn down from halfway. From here, it's going up, from there up, from there, it's going, something else is being drawn down and taken underneath. Can you see clearly? Maybe. Yeah. We've got a vapour coming off the surface. All that in there is hydrogen. Look at the top, hydrogen won't break the surface. I'll turn it off and just keep your thing going there and you'll see what happens. Power's turned off. Mm. Clears it up. If you lower your water, put on tape, if you lower your water to level with the plates or below it, you will not get any of that stuff down the sides. It'll just produce bubbles out of each plate. If you want to see that, I can tip that top off and show you. You won't get any down the sides. If you want to see um, I'll just <coughs> you'll be able to see this. When I come back down you'll still see it producing production it's not what's coming back up that will go off the plates if you can see through there that produces gas for maybe an hour or two after that's been on only for half a minute you charge that water up and charge those plates up you have continuous charge coming off that water as electricity or bubbling and charge none of those bubbles are breaking the surface or sticking on the surface they are gone now we're just want you don't make a fibber out of me we go back up again, we have got our water below the plates. Put our same on again, we can turn it on. You want to come to the top now, you will see there's nothing happening down the sides, but look what's happening in here. Now we're getting bubbles there. Yeah. Each one of those in turn, I'll put a little bit more water in and you'll see. This is just plain water in the charge. It's got a bit of gunk in this one, but that's fine. You just come up, see it? When I go down the side, you'll see it still hasn't gone over the sides. I will to bring the water up to clear the top. Now, as soon as the water goes over the top, Here the water goes over the top. You'll see something breaking, going down. Then it starts, it comes back up. That is coming up. You can see it clearly now. This is production very well. From here down, it's drawing something down under. Mm. Now you want to look on the top, you'll see the bubbles. They've only come since we've transferred it over. going and hang on to your drums. Hallelujah. 
and the aluminium which was in the alum and all the detergents they put in the water to clean it up is still in this one um, sorry wrong one that one goes there that just clips to the outside as a positive the neutrals as I showed you before this here just hooks up to negative now that's just clipped onto the negative cone I'll lift it out to show you again just to be on the safe side see no connection same thing again that just goes into the negative Let's clip it on you want to look in there you'll see something vapor reckon the wind's blowing pretty strong here too so it's blowing away the vapor mm -hmm. if you were to sniff that vapor would uh, just, just nice just nice oxygen or hydrogen or what would it be what we're doing now at least it's you, not poison you, yet no it's not poison if you look at the size what we're doing is we are stretching the water out the water has come up about that far so far and it will keep coming up and we'll lift and lift and then it'll start forming large bubbles and those large bubbles what we can do what we're going to do is we're going to turn the power off the battery in a second and those bubbles we're going to light with the power turned totally off mm -hmm. just want to show you that these are collecting into a larger stuff for that yeah. see them yeah. and this here is nice fine beautiful clean white a bit of this brown here is from the water i've had some bad water lately mm. so now i want to turn the power off i've got a match we'll leave it for a minute you're still there you're still there just a match you're right mm. whoa <laughs> what happened what happened to the roof yep <laughs> now the water has dropped right back down again yeah we stretch the water up it lifts totally lifts up stands up that's that one that water in there is charged if you can get that white stuff off the top now you'll be able to see that it'll still produce for ages that has not been charged either nothing's been on this morning this probably you should be able to tell you mm. so now water but we've got our bubbles each one of them is relightable and if you can see across which is not water's not deep enough you can see across it'll still be producing gas off those neutral plates i don't know whether you can pick it up it's only fine but now that's pushing 14 and a half pounds per square inch of atmospheric pressure to get any of those bubbles off or produce anything all we do is hook a vacuum to it you remove the 14 and a half pounds per square inch and then you put out not hydrogen or oxygen you put out whatever and that's what runs cars and it comes off like i don't know what okay this is a keg for charging charging order I don't use this for anything except for charging positive outside negative <coughs> top and bottom positive in the inside center outside is charged you want to try it this is plain water which is in here which comes straight from the creek I'm just want to come up an inch further so you can see the bubbles. Now we'll turn the power on and instantly the water starts to rotate. Rotation. Waits a minute, builds a charge, no bubbles yet. As soon as it's charged, now our bubbles come from nowhere, no white stuff, no clearing. Beautiful bubbles stick on the surface. <coughs> plain fresh water straight out of the tap 
That's how long it's been on and charging the first few bubbles. <laughs> That's with it on. Now we'll leave it go for a few minutes because they're not the bubbles what I want to show you. What they've done is went from the centre straight out to the outside. We're going to get a bit of muck in this because the water is polluted up here. The better the water, the fresher and cleaner the water, the better this is. This is charging the water, and if you're talking about sewage or dirty water or pollutants in water, this is what it does to it. It totally cleans your water, pulls them off, separates it. You can put it, it's not underneath, it is only on the surface, brings it to the surface. You can get a different bucket, strain it all off, take it off, throw it away, you've got clean, beautiful water. Oh, that's really yucky stuff to look yeah. at, isn't it? Now, you turn the power off, power is off, there's still production going very well off this. This is charged well. No charge on. Whoops. Flame went out. Doesn't matter. There's no charge on. Ah. Come here. That's the door by me. Louder. Getting better. <laughs> Getting better by the minute. That water is cold. They will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And they come up, I've had them that big. Yeah. You oh, can bubble, leave them all day, as yeah. long as they don't burst. They won't burst, they'll sit there all day. Yeah. That gives you a surface tension. That's why they're sitting there, surface tension. Everything else you'll do, you can take this if you want. Mm. Everything else you do, everything what comes off there will break the surface and it's gone. There's no bubbling, there's no nothing, and nothing stays there. This is charged water. This is the only time and any time else that you'll get bubbling. Wait a minute. Now water is charging up now. Comes through. The very first bubbles are lightable and blow your head off. You charge that water, leave it going for a short period of time and get a good charge into the water. You can see what's coming off. They're clean, they're clear. Mm. There is totally nothing Beautiful, in that water. Mm. The more you leave it to charge, the better it gets. Those bubbles, they will stay there all day, all tomorrow. You come out tomorrow, you hit the, um, any one of those bubbles, you hit them with a match and, and do you notice it's getting louder? <laughs> sure is. Which your eardrums doing? Because <laughs> mine are absolutely <laughs> ringing like shit because that's totally inflated. Uh, and if you got it on camera, there was no flame, no orange flame, that, no that's nothing. Right. Totally. Yeah. Now, the bubbles come after the flash. It's still there. Mm. No charge on now. Mm. And it's still charging. Mm. It's still, still going. Still bringing bubbles up here. Yeah. I haven't charged that. It's getting louder and louder. You want me to leave that on for, say, um, 10, 15 minutes, you will not stand in here because every one of these sheets of tin on this roof and everything will be shaking with the mm. sound. You'll have to hold your mm. eardrums and it'll mm. go through your hand. I've no. done it. No. My your ears. body will feel a thump, yeah. not against it. Mm. Your body will feel a thump. Yeah. The ground down here will thump. Shake. Yeah. Shake. That is plain, straight, nothing in it. You want me to drink it? Mm. If you want to try the straight finger in, feel the slip. There is no caustic. Just please, if this is for you, I'm not guaranteeing that every car will run straight away off this gas. The little escort took a day and a half. That's a cast iron motor. It had to put positive gas into the manifold and into the motor and it totally changed it. It took a week after we took the manifold and carby off and the gas off, it took a week before I could change the timing back and get it to run smooth again on air and petrol. A week after to get it back out of the metal. Mm. Now, you use this, hook this up, I know it runs on the Rover, the Leyland, the Escort, a Holden motor, um, a Falcon motor, um, a forklift, gas forklift, um, many others, can't think of all now. But, some cars with a negative charge in the motors 
takes a certain time for these, not highly generosity, these ions or these positives to get in, pollute the metal, change it from negative to positive, then it runs. This car here now, we'll show you later, it will run straight off because the pollutants are still in the motor, they're in the manifold, they're in the carburetor. So I'll show that later anyway. So, and that gas there, you saw, has no colour when you light it. It is, if you want to, if your eardrums can pick it up there, totally in places. Pulls your eardrums very loudly, doesn't it? Mm, that's very loud. <laughs> no flame, no nothing, and it is not hydrogen, that stuff. There is nothing in the water. I've drank it, he's tested it, there's no mm. slippery, there's no nothing. <laughs> and all these two, exactly the same. If you put caustic or anything else into those waters within that period of time, any of these will be red hot with the charge and the plate and the stuff that's coming off. They'll all turn hot. They stay cold. Water in about there. And this is gas reserve. And this is a welder. And this is a cutter. And this is also for running cars. It's been run this one's run a car. That one included. The escort included. I've now filled it full of fresh water what Paul has brought down, straight he knows what it is, right to the brilliant top. I'll now take the charge, I'll put it on, positive outside, negative hose that goes inside like I described before. I'll turn the power on, I want you to get close here because you will see with charging water will lift, expand out. now on. Clean white bubbles. Have a look at the tension on this. It's standing up a quarter of an inch or more, the water above the surface. Just for fun, We've got these bubbles that trickle over down here. They're on there. You see them? This is plain straight water. Oops, that's a plain straight dead match. <laughs> you watching? This is power on. I don't have power on. I'll let some go down and build up. This is dead, straight, plain water. I'll just get a little bit of charge into the um, into the water. Oh yeah. Go on, leave them sit on there. They build up. They'll stay on there like they do on the keg. On there, they stay on. That is not off the cell, that is the bubbles that charge. The water, plain water running over is charged. Hit it again if you're right. It's charging, you see? It's getting pretty good, isn't it? Is this about as good as your balloon was, Les? <laughs> there we are. We turn the power off. The bubbles are gone. You want to have a look in? Bubbles are gone. Water's shrunk back down again. You okay? See they're collecting in big blobs in there. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm gonna light it. Come on, dude. You all right? right? No power on. No power on. That's that one. like to get some onto the surface down here. This is plain, straight out water. That now, the water is down to there, you just looked. Yeah. The water is now stretching, stretching, coming up. It's coming up. And we'll just wait. You'll see the bubbles in here if you want. If we're hopefully, it's sitting there now. And in a few seconds, it should pour over the top. Come on. 
It's going to build up what I just said off in there. Here it comes. Have a look at the action if you like, if you want to come in closer. He's swimming in the country right there. Dead flame water and pull from there to there is plate. Turn around, look at the charger. We're pulling less than 20 amps. When I charge this up and leave it overnight, we will pull two or four amps only and do better than that. Now, I'll add a little bit more so you know. So all that plain water. Let's see. Let them go over the side. We'll try and get some down here to stay on there. It's on the of that. show you something else with this again in a few minutes but we'll get a bubble. That one had a yellow flame. Why it had a yellow flame is it's on paint. Oh right, yeah, it's picked up. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. On neutral plates. Mm -hmm. What happens is Ordinary electricity spirals and goes right to the bottom and gurgles up. Mm -hmm. Comes up with the bubbles. On neutral plates, the current goes in and does a total right-in bend in every direction of these. Straight out sideways. So what happens is if you inject the negative in at the top, positive doesn't matter, it's right around. If you inject the negative in at the bottom, it does this all the way up to the surface. Everything's trying to get to the surface. Now, if you just put it into the top, it doesn't work the full length of the way down. So you have to put your negative in at the bottom. Hmm. In this blue one, I've injected it at the top, but I've run a wire straight down through the center of the negative and put it on the bottom. And it's like an insulated wire. Yeah, insulated and, wire. And it's sort of it. like this. It's insulated all the way to the bottom and then it's hooked onto the under the bottom, right at the bottom, and then it works its way all to the top. If you hook it just in through the top, I've done it, you don't get half the production, half the bubbles, you will produce hydrogen, and you only get a few little bubbles, nothing. You've got to do it in certain positions. This here is totally by all rights and figures, by putting neutral plates across that, cuts down to buggery on each one that goes through, it cuts down, halves the current input. So by rights, plain water should not produce one single bubble. Hmm. Nothing. Hmm. And you saw what that does. Well, that's right, yeah. And now, and, and I can you... increase that threefold over yeah. by doing something else. Outside, positive. The one we had connected to negative before, we will now hook up to positive. So the center is positive. The outside is positive. That's negative, you mean? Positive. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. I see what you mean. That's positive. Yeah. Yeah. I bring this to the center wire. Center one. Yeah. I then put negative to the center of those tubes. You want to see three times the production off the same plate? Have a look. Okay. 
Watch how the bubbles are. Look at the vapour. Look at the colouring. You're watching how quick it is. You got it? You watch. See how quick it is. That's just going to the centre. That is not the way I do it. That charges your water awful quick. Hmm. Yeah. Might have been a bit of a bad connection. Uh, you can add charge to it if you want. This is plain straight water. I don't know why it must be the stuff in the water. It's pulled 10 amps. It shouldn't even pull half an amp on this. We'll grab some um, plain water. We'll build up because I always have the water right down. Good, good old burst on the water. Want to see the same? This is the one that runs the car. It's not been charged or put on this morning. It's plain, straight water. Mm. Hasn't had anything in it yet. No charge, no nothing. I'll drink the water. So you all know what the water was. Mm. Push, it, push it out the water and everything else it doesn't want. Even under vacuum. It'll pull down to where it wants. Won't use any from there. Mm. You go as far as you like on this stuff, if your water is below, where she can pull any down a hose. And you will not use, go around Australia if you want, won't use any water. Come back, still got the same water. If you go above, where it's going to vacuum it out or push it out, you will use what it pushes out, or use what will come out under vacuum or splash. After that, you won't use any. You can keep topping it up as far as you want, whatever you want to do on top, Build it up, and draw it out through vacuum. Man. It's been on for as long as you heard so far. Pull the eardrums if you want to. Mm. Very well. You see? Still lifting. Yeah. Mm. If you put your thumb over, very strange things happen. The bubbles go back to the water. See? Hmm. You want to come up hmm. closer and have a look? I'll put my thumb over. I'm going to build up a bit of press. Come over and have a look in. I got, I got you, you firmed right then where okay. I can. Watch. Yeah? And we're getting a pretty good pressure, aren't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Nothing wrong with that. And um, well, how, many, how many tubes have you got inside one another there? Uh, in that one, one negative, there? two neutrals, one positive outside. Oh yeah, like four. Yeah. four now, get... if your gas is no good, and you want to increase the performance of implosive gas near any girls, do that. Let it build up for a sec. Take your finger off. Here we go again. Hydrogen. Yellow flame. Got that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Want to change the gas? All you do is put your finger back over it again, or add plain, straight water. Clear bubbles. Yeah. Different bank. Different bang all together, yeah? And wipe your turn and bang. everything else. So we do. And that and that that's twelve that's twelve volts. Twelve volts. Twelve volts and ten amps. Twelve volts, ten amps. Mm. Normally without this pollutant what the cell is cold. Without the pollutants and everything else I usually get half an amp on this, but this water's gone bad in the last couple of days. Mm. This cell here yesterday was pulling twenty five amps. I let it settle overnight, it's pollute, got some of the pollutants out, it's now pulling 10. If I leave it till the mark, put some charge in, leave the mark, 
we will go down and flame water down to half an amp and I'll put out the same gas but more potent. That is plain straight water, a few bubbles there. Very, very, very potent. As soon as you get the minerals and shit, you've got a dirty water, you've got a hydrogen, you've got a yellow flame, you've got less bang, no air pulling, you've got a pressure. You come to a plain water, clean, good plain water, clear bubble, clear everything else, very bang, very implosive, air pulling. Anyway, I'll leave that. If I feed back, this machine here, over amps. If I turn on, I can put 60 amps in. It'll stay the same volt. Oh. That'll charge your battery if you want. I can go for a small bike battery right up to one, two, up to five batteries if you want. Yeah. Okay. You understand? You know what it's got? 10 amps. About 10 volts on me. Yeah. 11 volts. And 60 amps. That's, that's a, got... That's a super That's charger. sulfuric acid in a battery. Yeah. In water. Or the sulfuric acid on the plate. And the sand is pulling heaps and heaps and heaps of amps. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that would charge up real. Well, I'll show you. We saw a minute ago that uh, we had um, very low voltage, 12 volts and everything else on this. See what we've got there? We can plug this on. Now, I'll set it on boost and you watch what I can put in. I can put in 55 volts. 55, 60 volts. Now, you want to see what I'm putting into the cell? That one after it's been charged. Half it's charged now. Yeah. What am I putting in? Half, Half an amp. I'm plain water and I'm still getting out the same gas. Now, if I come back. put in less. This is a good machine. I can set it to anywhere I want. I've got it open so I can change things and get out whatever I want. We want to see. We can go over to this one again and put it on. We can put in voltage, whatever voltage you want. Go to boost. We can go to 54, 50 some volts. Same gas, same everything else. Still get out the same mate. Don't care about voltage. The more voltage I put in, the less I pull on the way I set up my plates. The less voltage I put in, the more I pull. Yeah. That's if I want to produce hydrogen, oxygen, or gas, or bubbles, or anything else. But it's not what I do. It's not what I want to do. Go back to one, and I do worse. It's however I want to set it up. Or I can go to just an ordinary battery, do the same. If I put it on charge and go for a drive, I put put water in the in the car. It should be on the other video about me. Put these. That's filled to the top. Now, when I put this into there, and I for you, I'll put a bit of charge into it. Now, you'll see the bubbles go into there. Of the cell seems to build up the charge in here. Bubbles are going into there. They're very explosive. They're through a place of ether, if we can light them first off, doesn't matter. That water should, as the charged gas goes into it, should expand that water out, which is plain river water, and pour it over the side. The charge expands the water. As soon as we get the bubbles coming through. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they are lightable straight off. Huh? Same cell. Doesn't matter. No. Different gas thing there, what we want all together. Straight through. 
just let this, we did nothing, just put the top on. But what's coming off there cannot be lit by it. Now we're changing over to inflows of gas, watch the flame and the match. No, hang on, some of the other fuel. So you've got three different kinds of gas there already. Yeah. One with the yellow flame, one with an inflation and throws water at you, mm -hmm. and the other one which is not lightable. All in the same. All, all sorts of different cocktails. One more don't like, one more puts it out. One more throws the water out. Inflation. All the same. That's what happens. No, oh, it's Where are you going? No power on. no pressure in that or anything else, it's still going. Keeps going. Mm. Funny thing about all this is, every one of these, with plain water, with the power turned off, has twice the bang gas with the power turned off as with the power on. Mm. Yeah, well, some of these are loud. <laughs> with the power off. Yeah. More bang with power off, with no power going into it. It's more banging. Now, what or we do, whatever. is we take this out, what we've got here is a pressure gauge. This pressure gauge, it's a vacuum and a pressure gauge, and what it's set at, I can't get it back up, it is 10 below north. Oh, yeah. Yeah, already. Just leave it sit anyway and watch it build up. I'll see. But, and we have implosive gas which goes into the water and throws it out and does not have a flame. I'm here with an open lid. I turn the power off for three seconds, I turn it off. I have, when I light, that's air rushing in. I turn the power back on, three seconds, turn it off. I put a match to the top, I get air coming out. I turn the power back on, I turn it back off again, three seconds again, I now blow everything to smithereens. Just goes, boom! Three different gases, and you can see the three different gases there by each bubble. In the cell here with an open lid, I get implosive, exhaust, and then explosion, or implosion. Actually, it's implosion, because I have sucked this lid here totally down into there, Three times now, and I've had to knock them back out on an open cell. I've pulled the centre plates clean up that far out of the water as the implosion went, and I threw electricity right around this whole shed mm. off the cell when it went. And I'm not going to do that for you now because I've already been cut and shocked and flame <laughs> sorted me out. Now we're up to 100. Oh, actually 120 because it's 10 over. See? Now. On this, I just put a balloon. I'm going to make sure it seals properly. Balloon at the end. Lean on. Because all my hairs and everything else totally, totally 
non-existent afterwards. Actually, I'll get a bit of paper. Cut some stuff to show you. This balloon's going to do one of three things. One is, it's going to implode and, and flame and turn the balloon inside out and in rushing air is going to take every hair off me or everything else. The second thing, that's if we've got the implosive gas straight off. Secondly, if we've got hydrogen, there will be a big bang and a yellow flame and explosion. Thirdly, there will be another thing which, if it's there, you'll see. I can change the gas, three different gases I can get off that cell to do whatever I want. You still, you still there, Joe? Yeah? <laughs> <Sort of. laughs> that, that had a yellow flame to it. Yeah. That was hydrogen. First off, second time I'll do it. I just every if you pick it up on there, it's a very big shed, and every one of the sheets that's in on the shed just shook. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it pulled my eardrums and so on. But my eardrums are still here, so that was um, explosion hydrogen as well as a little bit of inflation. Mm. Hit the other stuff. I don't even know where the balloon went. What color was it? White. A white one there. Okay. What we got? This is what's left of the balloon fragmented and we've got a frequency in it which is hydrogen that's a low negative wave when you get the implosive it is 100 percent it's ripped yeah it's the finest ugly yeah. absolutely next time i blow up a balloon you saw first off i said before first off you get one gas second off you get another gas third off you get another gas yeah. so that's how it works i don't know why but when you get the gas what you want, you can test it by a balloon to see what you got. Yeah. But what you do, what you got now, you got to know what comes next. Yeah. And then you can draw that gas off. Yeah. If you don't want that gas, you put a balloon on, you blow it up, you can find and get the next gas. Find that which, yeah. We'll do it again if you want. Uh, I think we'll save our ear drums. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put these on for welding. Um, that'll do. <laughs> Take your <nap. laughs> I know what gas I can get off. This gives you a Different gas altogether, yeah, different bang. Different gas. We have all the balloon here now this time. And this time we don't have virtually any frequency. Now the next yeah. gas I know what I've got and I'm not going to light one of them. No. <laughs> because the next one will turn the balloon inside out, fragment to a million pieces and foam and pull our eardrums and it's, I've done it, I've smashed yeah. these lights before so I can yeah. pull them out of the roof. Yeah, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> And these in the inside of the balloon are dry. The next gas that runs the car, when the balloon is fragmented, the balloon is turned inside out. This is the way that balloon was then, yeah. out, right way up. The balloon is fragmented to a million pieces and it's turned inside out and it is soaking wet. Oh, yeah. It's condensed the rain. Yeah. It's condensed rain. It's made rain. That's what um, the next gas does, but it is that powerful, I can't even fill that amount of the balloon up. So, I've done we'll, it before. We'll, we'll, can, we'll cancel that see if one. I can, um, I've yeah. got shit in here, all the minerals and shit that I've used before. I'll see if I can find um, the balloons. All this shit doesn't do nothing. We've got um, sulfur powder, urea, um, blue stain, um, nitram. Never used that one. That's explosive, very. Nitrous. Oh, yeah. For the black forestry. 
We've got magnesium sulfide. It's extra sulfide. It's um, cost of soda and how they use the ship. There is um, sulfate of ammonia. Epsom salt is, uh, is available straight off uh, the counter in the chemist shop, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Bicarb, bicarb soda in water produces, with a charge on it, produces oxygen. Bicarb soda in plain water, use a magnet, the north end of a magnet, turn it anti-clockwise, produces hydrogen. Oh, yeah? Potassium nitrate. I cannot make this stuff go off with anything. P potassium nitrate? What, uh, Except for the way the scientists do it at school, they teach the kids to go blow mailboxes apart. Yeah, yeah. You, you, make, you, you make big bales out of them. Mm. Boron or borax? Borax, yeah, that's, yeah. I've tried through every one of these things before. I have tried every one of them. I can produce hydrogen. I can produce oxygen. I can produce lightable stuff, non-lightable. I cannot produce anything that runs a car. I cannot produce anything that puts out anything but a big yellow flame and you have to pull a, uh, you pull up to maybe 60 amps to get any bubbles mm. and then the cell instantly gets hot yeah. no matter what you use. In here happens to be carbide powder. You want to have uh, a drop of water to that? Uh, you yeah. get a settling. Yeah. Of course, produce the settling. You had a drop of water that to get off a big bomb. Yeah. That's right. Hydrogen peroxide of uh, 130 volume. Um, what is it? 35 percent. Never used it. Brand new. That's all I have. That's all I've tried. There's balloons everywhere around the floors, mm -hmm. which have different. Paint. I've off the cell. I've totally fragmented paint as well. Now, I'm gonna, I can do this anyway. Come on. High positive frequency comes out. It's out of mine. See that little hook? Yeah. That little hook is my gene line, if you know what a gene line is. Yeah. My children. To tell if they're my children, you can do a blood test or you can do a test with a balloon. My children, if I get them to blow up a balloon, I've got a daughter and a son, and I get them to blow off a balloon, their frequency out here will be a little bit different but that there is 100% identical and you can grab their balloon and sit it over that. If he does one, you do one, anybody else does one, they will all be different. You'll never get one to sit back over there unless it is from the same gene. Remarkable. And I've done this with thousands of people and I can prove it. Now, if he blows one up and I put a bit of spit on my finger and I touch him, yeah. what, I get, what he gets in the balloon when he blows it up is his frequency and two of mine. Two of these mine. Why? I don't know, but two of those are my children being transferred over through the acid spit off my tongue onto my finger and touch him for one split second. Yeah. And if you are a negative field person and I just come along, put a bit of spit on and I touch your hand, you put blow up a balloon, you now can blow it up where a minute ago as a negative person you couldn't even light it. You'd burn a hole through it and go fizz yeah. down. Then, now you can light it. Now, I've got balloons. If you have, if you have a sickness or a disease or anything else, it's a low negative field and it'll put a wave or a striker point. Eaves, no high frequency pitches, little M's. I can mm -hmm. hold that, depends on where you blow it up. I can hold it up to your body. And if you have a disease from halfway down and you blow the balloon up aiming downwards, the rip across the balloon like that will show it up and I can tell you that you, without even knowing you, I can tell you that you've got a disease from there down. I can tell you whether you've got a cancer, I can tell you what you've got out of the air out of your own mouth. Incredible. Now, on quantum here, I've done this for about four years. Yeah. On quantum about, um, oh, what was it, about six months ago, 
there is a man who is going to take the police breathalyzers and he has taken them now and on them there is a frequencies big high squares he's put them on on a computer thing now in people with known cancers breathing into these he has found one little striker like this different than everybody else with no cancers so he's going to take from their breath make up these machines which are going to flame and tell you whether you've got a cancer or a sickness or anything else incredible now there was a guy come into me shed i will get this on though there's a guy come into me shed here the other day i've never met him before he heard what i was doing a man brought him here um i didn't know him never met him didn't know there was something wrong with him i got him to blow up a balloon the same as i just did air out of his mouth took a fair bit to light it when it did when he blew it up he held down like that and blew up he blew the balloon up he was he mad and he's had it for three years he dropped his pants in this year here to show us and he said how did you know hmm. i said i didn't but your balloon showed up a frequency in the way that you did if you blow the balloon up i would have looked at this part yeah hmm. incredible the so things what you can act record yeah Whoop. different guys again
the end of the ride. You got to start a water again because I hit it. Get your video camera onto the... Hey, quick. Get down to you. On the fence. Huh? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Is this for a bear? What? Yeah. 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 There's no petrol in there now. But it is for a totally bear. You see that? You saw where the petrol was before, didn't you? Yeah, well, there's nothing There's nothing in the, uh, in the filter there now, no. Should. You got it? Yeah, now I've got focus. Mm -hmm. Can I see the fuel? In yeah, there? you can see the fuel. I can see it. Yeah, there. the fuel is back in there again, yeah. So, yep. uh... The cell, if you got the sound going, what the cell does is when you hook it up and the cell starts to cut in, and if you do have fuel on there, uh, carburetor fights the running power till she does it. You can't get it on there and petrol down under 500, as you know. Now the thing is down onto idle, mm. you know, and she drives the petrol clean back down the line and back to the tank, and you won't have nothing in your bowls or carby or anything else, and that's how, so you know what you got. Mm. You know what you haven't got. So. Oh, this one potent machine. And it's, um, it's totally red. It's Stop the air going in. Hey? What am I doing? Cutting the fuel off. Hey? What's this one? If you screw that in, we get fuel. You screw that out, we don't get fuel. lining up with the uh, cables and that. So you put a big enough hole in there. What? Big enough one? Oh, that's the plastic part. Wait. Don't worry. <clears throat> Totally on gas, and there was nothing in the bowl. There's nothing in here. 
and we just cha everything changed up high. Mm. So if I wrap this around, this is what we did at the furthest point on the cell before. This was doing the other week before Ron killed it. She come up here, eight thousand revs, just scream straight up over the top. Yeah. You don't change. You know? It is it is well coming up the way it was. That's steep. You went up what two thirds of the way in top gear. And, and then I let it die right down below to five hundred, yeah. then I changed. Yeah. If I would have went back one gear, I would have pulled up there and stood. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, 
Well, for the amount of water that you've got in your unit here, you shouldn't have to worry about fueling up for the next, uh, what, 25,000 kilometers? <laughs> That's incredible. And see, the motor's different noise, isn't it? Oh, it's as smooth as that. Yeah. It's got a nice verbal to it now, which... up to 7,000 in one go, yeah? Yeah, she lived. Feel in second, she's not dying so much as second before with petrol. Yeah, third, sorry. Third. Yeah, third, sorry. Third. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Even I'm not there. She yeah. didn't have that before either, did it? Nope. See, so third, she'd die out a little and then you could pick up in you know, over half rest, couldn't you? Yeah. So, Good little motor now. Not a puff of smoke. Nothing out there. She's cramped, but you don't even get, you're not even getting a mist of petrol vapor. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. getting that black soot. Well, you know, when you no plant the accelerator once, you'll get, in your car, you give it a rev, you'll get a black soot first and then yeah. clean yeah. out, right? Well, there's no petrol there to make soot. Yeah, but I mean, you know, before it, yeah, with the petrol oh, yeah. on even, you know? Yeah. What have we got here? Yeah, an accident. Whether or not we um, 
We need it on or off with running. Totally or not. Seven plus. Way up against the top. Hmm. Uh, only twice. This is just to show you. Okay, so the inner cylinder is negatively charged. Then we have three neutral charged, mm -hmm. uh, uncharged uh, yep. uh, plates, and the outside one positive. is positive. And you're looking inside now, there's nothing. Right. Looking in, just come out of the... And you should be able to pick up this vapour. Yeah. Can you pick that vapour up? Because that's not steam. Yeah, okay, and that's your white hydrogen oxygen combination from electrolysis, huh? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is that what you think? Oh, no, no, you've actually put neutral, um, neutral water in it. Mm. Plain water? Yes. See your bubbles? Yep. Do not stay on the surface. They're gone. Mm-hmm. You understand? Okay, now... This is rain, basically rainwater. Well, tap water. water. Okay, now, I will go over the plate. Yep. Instantly, look what happens. Does not. Yeah, but now watch. You, um, yeah. you see down the sides now. Mm-hmm. If this water is... It is? Yeah. That water's not charged yet. And see, look, this is our bubbling, which just breaks away. It's gone. Yeah. And those, you don't have to hold your drums. Mm -hmm. This doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you look now, you'll find something that's gone to here. Mm -hmm. And it turns around and comes back. Where's that rubber one? Mm -hmm. If I don't touch anything, mm -hmm. I'll show you. You can see it off this. Yeah. Something drawn down, this goes to there and returns. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's not charged water yet. That's not the way I do it. That's just ordinary, ordinary. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you go on the plate, nothing happens out here. If you go above a fraction, everything happens out here. Yeah. The water, you end up with a magnetic field twisting. Yeah. And Okay, right. now, we're pulling out the minerals that are in the, in the water here. See these? Yep. I want to get rid of some of those. Okay. Oh, you want to look at that? Yeah, that'd be good one. Uh, whatever. No, it doesn't. Ah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> high tech, here. Yeah. Real high tech. Okay, now, I'm going to go positive center. Yeah. And positive outside. Right. This is how I charge the water to what would you call it? Either um to to um give me surface tension. Anything?
Do you want to have a gauge right here? Yep. You want to have a gauge right here? Mm-hmm. He's done breaking up. Right. These are a little different. Yeah, I gotta do that. All right. Hmm. Get some plain water, please. Plain water. Yeah. Can I sell them in? No, that's just clean the um. All oh, right. Clean the glass. All right. And clean the place you see. Look. See yep. clean it. Back to the same way again. stuff in there now, look. So we're down to uh, about five, oh, six feet. Oh, it's pouring in, look. No, oh, yeah, it's turning different. Very much fine, eh? Mm. Now our bubbles are staying there, see? Yep. See, they're not breaking like they used to? Yep. It's like this water. Yes. Okay. And when we charge this up, you see it's just starting to ooze over, but you watch now. See, you clear in here? Yeah. You just have a geezer. Watch what happens. No, you won't. Watch this foot. Hmm. That and goes to there. Then Something else from there, you'll watch. A little clear one goes from there. I'll get out of the light. Can you? Yep. Yeah, you can. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Total different. Yes. When you look in the top, it's totally, totally different stuff. Looks like an ounce of seltzer now. Huh? Yep, looks like an ounce of seltzer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of mercury about. Yeah. <laughs> but the bang on that is lightning, isn't it? Uh, well, we'll be in a minute. Now, does the, um, the metal on the electrodes cause a problem? Yeah, it eats the chromium off. Mm. These were chrome. Mm. They're only pretty new, they keep eating it off. Yeah. Well, that water is just straight dead water and everything else. Yeah. And these are all right for now, because that's just been put in, haven't been charged. I usually take it out there and put it into there, you know? Mm. Yep. Okay. No yellow flame? Mm. Mm. This needs, some of these waters need a bit of a kick start, you know? Yes. For hours and produce all the time for hours. Mm-hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. Good. That's production continuous now. Yeah. yeah. I've negatively charged some water, mm -hmm. and then I took some other water and I positively charged it. And on the meter, she only reads like that did, you know, maybe one amp or something, 12 volts. Mm -hmm. Put the two together into a container, she pulls 60 amps. Mm -hmm. Two different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, right, let's see if there's any difference in that water what we put in before. Going up a bit more. Ten. Ten. Yeah, Twelve inch. Yeah. See? Difference in the water. Those two waters, there's two different yep. waters.
This is the only way, hooking them up this way is the only way I can charge me water through. See the bubbles? Mm. They're not breaking the surface, are they? No, right. Thanks right, you saw you. before, they just come up and they're gone. Yes. They don't stay there. Okay? This yeah. has been charged. Yes. Yeah. You want to hear this stuff? No. We'll let it go for a second in this container too to get the um, polarisation right for this cell because it's been polarised to this. So we'll get it polarised to this now. You want to fill it up a bit more, Joe? No. And if it doesn't work this way, I um, put my hands over and build up a little bit of... Pressure. Uh, well, not well. so much pressure, but a field over the top, with a positive field over the top. Yes. And then my bubbles can come about that big. Mm -hmm. Just one bubble. Pretty good stuff. Yeah. It's been the bubble formation. It's almost as though it's got detergent in they're sticking together, the, the bubble. Mm. Mm. Does that start to get bigger? Yeah. Right. Um, Cover it off. Right. Now hold it over, please. Mm -hmm. You're pretty right? Yep. have a bit of yellow. Surface tension straight away, see this? Yeah. There is something in there, see that white milky stuff? Mm -hmm. That's hydrogen. And this stuff here isn't. No. This is with the power on? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a second get a couple of these. Yeah, it's got alum in the water, in the water. whatever that water comes from. Bugger see the element, the water from around the creek and that was filled. Rocky Creek Dam and, and maybe here. Okay, power off. Bubble still there. Watch camera. Here's a different resonance. Mm, high pitch. cars and uh, as far as I can figure out, big fellas, aerials, all the gear. They'll come and sit out the front of the, the other side of the road here and they'll watch in here, they'll listen. I know they'll listen because um, my son and I have been in the shed here and we haven't been in eye contact with them. And we know that they were sitting there for hours watching while we've been playing here and then um, my son and I have decided to go out there and see who they are and they haven't even spotted us and we haven't spotted them. We start to walk out and they shoot off and another car comes and takes its place, a different sort of car and different fella. You go in the car and go anywhere, they'll follow you. Even when I work around the corner, you're doing a bit of mechanical work at the shop. I've had a fella sitting over on the other side corner, and I went over South Lismore to uh, drop off a head. And um, this car, with all the aerials and everything else, followed me all the way over there. I reversed him, and I saw him, I had a feeling about him. I just drove straight back out again. He was going to park up the road a bit further. And he followed me. I went around the back streets all the way, crisscrossed, and he followed me all the way. I reversed back in and just hopped out of the car and he parked up the road again. Mm. And then I took off again and come back over to work. Do you feel it to the police or special forces or what? Well, I had a number plate taken to the RTA. Mm -hmm. The guy who followed me over south, I took the uh, number plate and I took it to the RTA to have the yeah. check done on, the, on who it is. And they told me that I couldn't find out who it is because the number plate was silent. Just, I said, what does that mean? He said, it's just like a silent phone number. You cannot have information to that number plate. Mm. I said, well, that's interesting. <laughs>
butchering down to 39 sizes under, mm. which would make it about a 93, is it great? Right. What I've done is um, virtually... 69, I'll take it down. Um, oh, going down to 69, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'll just show you here. These. Which are jet drills. Yeah. These are your soldered up ones. Yeah. Bit tight. Sort of 69. Yep. Fine. Okay, now, the size what the 140s were originally, they're the 140s. Yep. What they originally were is not on this set of dials, it's bigger again. Yes. So I'll come down to buggery. Mm hmm Good. Okay, we'll pause the video until we get to start getting set up. Did you get out? Just now putting in the smaller jets into the uh, carburetor. Now, why are we doing this for, sir? <laughs> can you well, explain? for a start, if you want to run a mix, you can. If but you, um, and that's not really the main reason, but to show you on petrol now, without touching any rest of the car that's driven in here, to show it with a smaller jet and everything else that um, we now, when we touch the accelerator, she will cut out. Soon it, well, idle, it'll idle, but touching it to open up the secondary throat won't run on the fuel that's in here. Yes. Then with this fuel in here and the cell on, mm -hmm. we will start the vehicle and we will show that the um, thing will rev over 7,000 revs when yes. I set the timing to suit yes. the gas now. And uh, then we'll disconnect this line here and bung it up. And that's our fuel input. Mm -hmm. And we will um, let the carby sit here on fuel and run totally out of fuel. Right. And you can try your hardest to get it going. Yep. And then what we'll do then is um, we won't put any more petrol into it. We will then hop into it and we'll whirl it over. Yep. And we'll start it on the gas by itself. And I'll show you by the taco. You can sit in the back there and take the taco on your machine there and you'll still see it going well over 7,000 revs with the um, petrol totally disconnected. Fine. How's that? Sounds excellent. And for a four-cylinder engine, what sort of advance do we need? 47 for? to 50 degrees advance. Before top dead set. That's on this one. On this engine? Yeah. Fine. <clears throat> when the gas starts to go into a motor, there's probably about three or four, when you first initially hook it up, there's probably about three or four uh, times that you have to re-advance the timing. As the gas starts to get in, your timing isn't so far advanced. You take it for running up the road, you might go, say, a mile. Within that mile or so, you will um, you may get out and change your timing two or three times till the um, you're matching the motor to suit the gas. And as the gas gets in there in that distance to um, align all the structure to the suit of gas, you may, to get the best performance, you may move the timing three times till you get it to the 47. On an aluminium motor... Oh, yeah. This is because the you energy... You just take it instantly straight to it. Yes. But uh, this is a cast iron motor, and the cast iron motor takes a period of time to get it through. Does the cast iron or all the aluminium become magnetic at any time? <clears throat> not that I've uh, found out that the... Um, not in the magnetics by taking a magnet to it or anything else to it, but I believe it's a different kind of magnetism. Your water in here, if you put coolant in your radiator, um, your coolant disappears. Don't know where, but the water doesn't disappear. The smell of the, the rubber and the, you know, normal yes. heat water disappears when you get it running. These here run cold. The exhaust water... Touch them with the back of your hand. Yes. Cold. We had a run in this um, a few weeks back in. We were really on a scorching hot day and I drove uh, 12 kilometres with the, just the gas on and this radiator cap and that button in the centre there mm. had ice on it mm -hmm. and we had <coughs> the uh, government agri what's the place out here Wollongong? Yeah, Agricultural College. Agricultural College, they have a mechanical course out there, my son works, uh, done a mechanical course there 
I drove from South Lismore out to there to pick him up in this car and um, I just topped up full of water, hopped into it, drove out to there, hard run on a boiling hot day, pulled up, got the head of the uh, workshop to come out, pulled the bonnet, checked the flame and radiator and on that button there was ice, he put his hand on the radiator and put his hand on the exhaust pipe and he said, bullshit. <laughs> so, anyway. so we now know what it is. We didn't know what bullshit was before. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. I'm pleased about that. So he can verify that and so on. Okay. Now, this here has got those jets in it. You'll oil, but as soon as you start the accelerators, you'll just cut out. That's just petrol with 39 sizes or something smaller. Yeah, down, yeah. down to 69. 61 sizes down there. This way you'll be able to see. Alright, we're coming around the other side. There's a hole in the floor. Uh, you get it? Too bad. Uh, nearly. Nearly. <laughs> well, <laughs> ah. you're right, you're so Just a hole in the floor to um, screw on your negative on the bottom of the cell. Oh, yeah. Okay. The the cell off. You want to undo that? Yeah. That just goes through the... That's it. So we're all connected. We're all connected. Yeah, no, that's, no, that's not. You want to do the cable, uh, the hose? Yeah. We'll, um... Hose paints, Joe, if you want to do that. Not a bit.
not light that gas. Mm. You can have it pouring out, you will not light it with nothing. What you've got to do is the metal clip on the front of the uh, cigarette lighter, you have to scrape it onto a positive and then turned off real quick. Right. You're right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
fuel. That's where the fuel is coming up from the fuel pump. Say any fuel? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee because this hasn't been running for a while. Yep. I'm going to guarantee it's going to go straight to the wall. Yep. But yep. I'm going to try my best for you. Okay. There seems to be a lot more regarding subtle energies and energies we don't even know about, uh, in effect, uh, charging. Before when I fired this up at Peter and, and you know, others, I've had the gas in there running for a while and then I've, um, you know, it stays in there for nearly a week or more. Yep. So I can just go in that time and hit it back on again. Mm -hmm. but, um, lately, lately, we've had this off now for, what, Pete? Probably uh, nearly six weeks. Yeah, yeah, so we're in a situation if if uh, our friend's caught by the police with this apparatus on, see you later. Well, yes, yeah, I think so. Uh, Typically, uh, then uh, we come across to our other friend's story about the guy that got the bullet through the head, right? Uh, come close, then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well now if you just hit the, if you start it, she'll start, she'll start and um... Okay, ready to start? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got the wipers on. Wipe <laughs> Does that work? Alright, ready? ready? So that's the lesson I feel out now, if you want to uh, let the fuel in, all you do is screw that input and the fuel comes out. Right. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the whole line clean off so yep. you can see that you can't even vacuum in the car. Yep. And we're going to let it run until she uh, totally runs out of fuel. Oh. So we're just running on fuel that's in the carburetor now. Plus, you have some vacuum on the shelf. Yeah. So. Whatever's coming off the cell, normally this would run out without the cell on, this would run out in probably by now. But when they come through off the cell, you're not using the fuel as much. You know, you're using some of that fuel, so you can run longer on the amount of fuel once you've got. Yes. So, I mean, with a jet so small, you know, shoulder down, to 39 sizes or smaller, you're going to use less fuel, but the other thing is to compensate to get those revs out of the motor without an amount of fuel, you wouldn't even get to 4,000 revs with the jet block normally, wouldn't you? Yeah. So, what we do is we go down and then we'll go to phase 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't want to load too much, then you've got a small bat, but I mean, you know, we'll load a few times to make sure that she's not going to... You do this first, one. Happy no-till? Okay. There you go. Here we go. This is your truly doing it. <laughs> And as we can see on the bonnet there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Okay, so there we are. That's the situation. Now the next trick. The next trick. Phase four. The next trick is to um next trick is to then the um Sell. Pick the thing. No, check it. It's not right out at the end and it's not making a good connection.
Okay, just uh, check the electrical connections there. Now this here goes to the power to the cell. Yes. Yeah, you follow those wires, you'll find that the wire comes from that fuse to the switch. Right. Um, gives me power to the end of that. Yes, that has. I'll see if you apply it by yourself. Uh, without playing around, it's us that's um, discharged the battery rather than the cell. So I'll just make that clear. So once these guys get equipped, I'll change my battery in my camera. This is here we are, just backing up the, the battery in the back. Give us a bit of gut. Okay, choke on. Cool. Yeah. Now this is running on H particle. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we're all going to go for ride. And just before they do that, can I smell the exhaust? Charger over there. Uh, the camera recharges. Mm -hmm. you whip those two batteries off on you so I can put them, take them with us. <coughs> we don't want to run out of fuel, battery fuel now, do we? Just, yeah, just on that charger. Just slide them off. Yeah, that. Just pull the batteries off the side. Now the batteries are on the side of that that you had, Joe. Go back. Yeah, yeah pull them off the side. Oh. Pull them up. Slide them them up. Up. Oh, pull them up. Oh. Got it. Yeah, that. Voila. You can play those one day. <laughs> I can't play with any of this stuff. Okay. As we're saying, we're idling about 1100 RPM compared to where we were. The fuel cell is down here. Okay. As she goes down, see? Yep. Now we're still putting electrical energy into this now, correct? Yep. Okay. Just take the phone okay. compared to the other one. The cell is now still being driven by electrical energy. Roughly how many amps, would you say? Yeah. Wouldn't be two. Quarter. Wouldn't even be a spark. Quarter. Now I'll reiterate again. We are running H particle. No hydrocarbon fuel at all. Zero. Now we're picking up the main road. <laughs> <laughs> now she's very... Quite sensitive. Very sensitive. Yeah. Come on, Dad. 
He put a cup, of, a cup and a half of water in and found that he overfilled it because there's not meant to be in it. Okay, we're still running electricity at the moment because until we get it fully cleared up and running.
Oh. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. You want to look what? Ah, magic. There is something there, see? It doesn't show. 